Hi everybody. Everybody, I'm back. Everybody, Jeannie Young is back and I'm back with yet another amazing recipe. I am so excited, yet another day. Because today at the Young's house, Gina Young is going to share with you all how easy it is to make a delicious chicken salad right here. This chicken salad is amazing. It's so easy to make. It doesn't require a lot of ingredients. And you know, you make a Gina Young style, it's going to be so tasty. Y'all never had my chicken salad before. You better make you some. <laughs> here are the lovely <laughs> Give me a second. Here are the lovely ingredients you will need. The first ingredient that you will need is some chicken. Now, possibilities are endless when you're making a chicken salad. Of course, you can bake up some chicken, you can boil some chicken, or you can use a oven roasted chicken that you could possibly pick up from your local supermarket, or you could roast a chicken yourself. What I've done is I've went to Walmart and purchased the cold oven roasted chicken. So we have two of them. You will need some nice sweet grapes. Make sure you get some seedless grapes. These are the ones that I like to use uh, for this recipe. If you wanted to, you can use a Granny Smith apple. We're not going to use that today, but it's just a possibility. You will need some mayonnaise, and my choice is Duke's mayonnaise. You're going to need some walnuts and also some nice fresh celery. We will be using some onion also, and you're going to need some crackers. So we have some honey wheat crackles, crackers, and we have some sociables, and you're going to need a couple of spices so we can spice everything up. Here's what you'll need this way. You will need some parsley flakes, some black pepper, garlic powder, and salt. Make sure your hands are impeccably clean. Let's get started with this really quick and simple yet so tasty recipe. So let's get started assembling this really quick and simple yet so tasty chicken salad. This chicken salad is really unique. And what I love about it is it's kind of sweet and it's kind of savory. It has some crunch and then it's nice and soft. It's like everything all in one. Okay, and the flavor profile is just amazing. Once you put those spices in, listen here. Best chicken salad you ever had. So the first thing that we're gonna do, let's go ahead and take, and this is cold. We're gonna take the meat Look at that gorgeous meat, my goodness. Now, you don't want the skin. Some of you might say, I'm gonna eat the skin. Well, eat the skin if you want the skin. <laughs> but you wanna get this gorgeous meat that we have here and kind of break it up. If you wanna chop into the meat, absolutely you can. You can get it a little bit smaller, but we're aiming to get all this gorgeous meat. I, I am really holding back right now, grabbing a piece and just eating it. I love, let me know in the comment section below. Are you one of the people that likes to eat cold chicken meat? I love cold fried chicken, any kind of chicken. You put it in the refrigerator, you take it out when it's cold and just don't heat it up. Just eat it that way on a piece of bread and, and some hot sauce. Oh, I love cold chicken. So I'm really holding back. But like I said, make sure you get the skin off. Get into all this meat. We're gonna flip this bad boy over and we're gonna get all that meat in the backbone and under the thighs and just shred it apart just like so in this manner. Okay, so we're finishing up taking this gorgeous meat off of this second at rotisserie and what I feel like is since it's so cold it's not shredding apart like I want it to so I will go across it with the knife just to chop it down a bit and I tell you what I did taste it and it was delicious oh it was good all right so now what we're gonna do is let's go ahead when I come back we'll start to cut into this just like so Okay, so now what I wanna do, now that we have everything pulled off of the bones, we've discarded the, um, the bones in the skin, let's go ahead and chop it down a little bit. Make sure your knife is nice and sharp, okay? You don't want huge pieces in your chicken salad. I absolutely adore a good tuna salad, a good chicken salad on a nice hot day. This will be perfect for us to go outside, lay a blanket, 
you know, in the backyard and just have a little picnic with some chicken salad and some sweet iced tea, you know, and really enjoy the day. Just sit and talk in the backyard, eating some chicken salad. That's my kind of day. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna get this nice and chopped down. Once everything is nice and chopped, I'll come back and we'll get started on our veggies. So now that we have all of our chicken nice and cut down, I'm gonna show you what it looks like. Much smaller pieces, that's what you're looking for. And now we're gonna take this time, if you haven't washed off your celery, wash it off, you wanna wash off the pesticides, and then you never know who's handled your veggies when you bring it home, you know, before you bring it home. So let's dive in to the celery. When I think about making, you know, chicken salad or even tuna salad, I think about making the pieces nice and small. No one wants to bite down into huge pieces of celery or onion. Now, those of you that are not fans of celery, you could even use a celery seed that tastes like celery, but you don't have that bite of the celery. I've made chicken salad and tuna salad with celery seed and it's delicious. So, you know, you have those different options. Okay, so we're gonna chop this down nice and fine, just like so, and then I'm gonna run through it again to get it even smaller. So I'm finishing up going across that celery once again, just to make sure that it's nice and fine. So what we're gonna do, let's go ahead and get this beautiful celery right into the bowl with the chicken. Gorgeous. And now here's the thing, I did have four pieces of celery, I only used two. If you wanna use a little bit more, absolutely. Okay, so now that we have our celery done, let's chop into this onion and hope and pray that it doesn't make me cry. And I'm not gonna use too much onion. I don't wanna ruin the flavor. I don't wanna overpower it with the onion flavor, but I do want the onion flavor, okay? So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna use only this much. That's all that's needed, okay? Let's get that. And this is a nice sweet Vidalia onion. There's nothing like a Vidalia onion. It's so sweet and it has a great taste. Now, those of you that want to uh, like lessen the pungent flavor of the onion, what you can do is you can cut this onion and put it in a little bit of ice water, maybe for a half an hour. And then after it sets for a half an hour, that pungent flavor will, will be reduced down by a whole lot. If I can get the skin off, come on onion, work with me today. We'll get started cutting up our onion just like so. Once again, nice small pieces. Beautiful. Just like so, same thing. So now that we have our chicken nice and chopped up, we have our celery in here and a little tiny bit of sweet onion, nice and fine as well. Let's go ahead and think about cutting up your grapes. You don't have to cut the grapes up, but I highly suggest it. Wash your grapes off and here's what we're gonna do. We are going to take the grape and we're just gonna slice it in half just like so. This is a beautiful grape. I love the color and I love the taste. Of course, you could use like the green ones if you like, but the green ones, are more sour. The darker you get, they get a little bit sweeter. So let me tell you a funny story, guys. So now, my husband, he loves grapes. He loves all color grapes, he always has. But there's one thing that he doesn't like. He does not like uh, raisins. He doesn't like the way they look. He says that they look like bugs. <laughs> and if you make something, you can make the best uh, dessert that has uh, raisins in it. He won't eat it because he does not like raisins. Well, today I kind of tricked him a little bit. And I said, honey, do you love grapes? You know, I know he loves grapes. And he said, oh, I love grapes. You know, I love grapes. And I said, do you like raisins? He said, no, you know, I don't like raisins. And I said, well, come here, come in close. Let me show you something. And I do like this. <laughs> I do like this. And I say, you see it, you see those? I say, this right here, let's pull it off of the vine. I said, these are raisins. 
Raisins are made from grapes and then they just take them right before they dry all the way and they just roll them through a little bit of sugar. And he said, no way. And he looked up at me, he said, I, I've never eaten grapes again. I said, no, you can't do that. You can't do that. You have to start eating raisins now because you know, and I've proved the fact to you that they are dried out grapes. So we laughed about that and it's a lot of fun. So we'll see if I can get him to eat some raisins now that he's actually seen it on the actual vine. <laughs> okay, so what we're gonna do, like I said, chop down into all of your grapes just like so and what i want you to do is put as much grapes as you would like to have in your salad i put a lot because i like that sweet i like that savory some people put a little bit but when i take a bite of this chicken salad gina young style i want for you and everybody that tastes it to have a piece of that sweet grape in with the savory chicken salad just like so Okay, so I'm going to continue to do this, and when I come back, I'll show you what we'll do next. Here's Prince and Polo. We have Polo in the back on the left, and we have Princey in the front. Say hi, guys. Now, they get a piece of chicken for being such good boys today. Here you go. Here you go, Princey. So now that the dogs are happy, let's go ahead and put some walnuts into the salad. Figure out how much you want to put in there, okay? You might want a lot, you might want a little bit, okay? I just kind of pour them in. Sometimes I, you know, I can tell you a half a cup, but that right there, that's all you're gonna need. You don't need too much. Don't overwhelm the situation with the walnuts, okay? But put enough so you can taste it in every bite. Go ahead and put those gorgeous grapes in. Look at that color. The color is beautiful. Okay, so we'll start off with that many grapes. If I feel like I need a little bit more grapes, then we'll double back and grab the others. So now what we're gonna do, let's go ahead and start throwing in the mayonnaise. You know me, I don't measure. I just put enough in. We start off with a little bit. When you start off with a little bit, you can always add two. But if you start off putting a whole lot in, uh, beware because you can't take away. So start off with a little bit right there. What When I think of chicken salad and even tuna salad, you never wanna dress it too much. You don't want it too creamy. You want it creamy enough so it's not dry, but you don't wanna overwhelm it with too much creaminess because then it'll eventually break down and get watery. Let's go ahead and season. We're going to put some parsley flakes just because it's beautiful, not for the flavor. We need the pepper. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> oh I can't wait till you taste this. And then garlic powder. Can you imagine how savory this is with that pinch of sweetness going through? And then we're going to put some salt in, not too much. If your loved ones want more salt, they can put more in. Then what we're gonna do, go ahead and start stirring it. <laughs> oh yeah, and here's what I want you to do, be careful. Just kind of do it like this because you don't want to break down the grapes. You don't want to mush your grapes. I'm going to continue to turn this just like so. And then if I feel like I need more mayo, we'll, go, we'll double back and put more mayo. Take a look at it, everybody. Gina Young style, sweet and savory chicken salad. Make you so. Listen here, everybody. If you all enjoy this here video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, what are you waiting on? Tell your family and friends and everyone you know, tell the whole world about Gina Young, what I'm doing in this kitchen on a daily basis. Let's go ahead and say a quick prayer so you all can get that first bite. Heavenly Father, Lord Jesus, we thank you once again for a beautiful day. Lord, we thank you for your love time, your mercy and your understanding. Please forgive us for our sins. Come into our hearts. We make you our Lord and Savior. Send your angels down to surround us day and night. Your Holy Spirit to help us make good decisions. Give us peace over our minds in the name of Jesus. We pray that no weapons formed against us shall prosper. We bind the devil away from us in Jesus' name. Devil, you have no authority over this household. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the roof over our head. The food, the love, the peace and the joy that you bring us every day. Amen. Amen once again to my beautiful prayer. I can't wait for this. And try those honey wheat crackers. They are delicious. First, what I'm going to do, I'm going to give you a nice bite on the fork, okay? And then look at that baby right there. Oh, uh-huh. Mm-hmm. And then we're going to take it. 
<laughs> Wait, we're gonna take it and put it on that cracker. Look at this. You get sweet, you get savory, you get soft, you get the spices, mm, mm, mm. and you get a little bit of crunchy. And as always, God bless you all. Thank y'all for watching. Good night.